Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about imposter syndrome. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I want to ask you how to deal with imposter syndrome in terms that as a software engineer, we need to keep we need to always keep learning new things and sometimes we feel, uh, feel that we don't know nothing well enough. Uh, imposter syndrome is probably the most common affliction, mental affliction that ails software developers. It's completely natural and it's very likely that you will feel it at least once in your career and it's very likely that you're gonna feel it for a long time and some people never truly get over it because at the end of the day what it really comes down to is your confidence in your abilities and how well things go for you or at the very least how well you perceive things going because I mean I've worked guys I've worked with people who are literally masters of their craft and they still have anxieties over performing in certain situations and so forth. I mean, they're, it's not like they they're get, they get shaky when they're going to declare some variables or create a loop or something like that. They get shaky when they get to do they have to do things that are outside of their comfort zone. And I think that's completely natural. Most people are uncomfortable. We call it imposter syndrome, of course, but for most people, doing something that isn't really your thing or something you're new at or whatever it's it's gonna be a little bit intimidating and some people I mean some people really don't care that much and they kinda get through it and so I can't really give you something that something like a magical pill or something like that or a silver bullet type of deal that's gonna solve this for you what I can say is that I suggest that you accept the fear start with that if you want to be a software developer you should understand that with that profession comes a great deal of anxiety and fear and and studies and all of this good stuff that well the people who might tell you that becoming a software developer is easy or it's just a boot camp away and you can get it for 9.99 at their special website they don't usually talk about these sorts of things and the the reality is that this is a profession that is not for everyone I don't I don't want to discourage you because I think that you can do this because fear is fear it would be the same fear most likely that you would feel if you were new at any job it's just that in this job you don't really get at least not to the same extent that sensation of I know all these things because the domain that you're dealing with is larger than say uh, I mean if you work for 20 years at a I don't know a gas station or something like that it is highly likely that you will learn all the things like there is nothing new under the sun for you when you're working in that sort of environment because it's a very finite static thing in many cases or other professions I hope that you can relate there are things that are continuously evolving continuously moving and you have to comp catch up all the time and then there are things that are not so fast moving and I mean, the, it's the same deal for people who work as scientists or doctors or or police people, people who work as in the security or things like that. I mean, there's a risk for them. Like they, I mean, if you're a police officer, there's an actual risk every time you go to work, even if you're you've been on the on the service or force or whatever we're calling it for years and years, right? And so, just embrace that fear. Embrace that you're gonna be. A scare, that you're going to be scared, but also understand that your courage as a software developer it's going to rise as you gain more confidence in your skills and the decisions that you make. And see, that's the thing. There's no easy way to get there. You just have to do it. It really is that simple. It's very much like working out. In the beginning, you're going to look and you look at yourself in the mirror and feel like you don't look all that nice, and the thing is, every single little iteration that makes you feel better about yourself if you go and start lifting weights or you know you start jogging or something like that, these are things that you're going to notice. 
and hopefully you will do, you will take the time to notice these sorts of things in software development as well. I in my experience it's l less common because the thing is that it's kind of funny in for it's in many cases it's easier for you to measure how much fitter you get like in terms of weight or like how much you can lift and stuff like that. But the smarter you're getting that's much trickier. It's much. It's not really an easy thing to to track now, is it? Especially not when every problem is kind of its own thing, right? But I promise you, you will get better, and your courage will rise with it. You may never be completely fearless, but it's going to get better. And it really comes down to just learn. Take the time to learn your stack and your domain. So if you work in a company or something like that, usually when you're completely fresh in a company. Uh, I mean, if you have a very firm understanding of the tools on the stack and so forth, it's usually simpler. But uh, at the very least, once you get comfortable enough in your stack and comfortable in the daily grind of whatever domain you're dealing with, you should feel less and less like an imposter. And I mean, try to really think about every time you deliver software, you are producing value for the company. Every time something goes out into production that you had your name on, you have now contributed. And I know that doesn't feel it doesn't might not feel like you're doing anything, but that's actually what they're paying you to do. Guys, there are people who are so beautiful that they get paid to 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 pose. It's not a hard job. I'm not saying that it's an easy job. I'm just saying that don't don't be so hard on yourself. You are you've taken all this time to learn something that is complete magic to so many people. The fact that you could even release something into production proves that, and, and that it's working, of course, proves that you know how to do this. And you're going to get better. You're already leaps and bounds ahead of anybody who, who, who doesn't have your experience, right? So, what I want you to take away from this is that, well, be humble, ask stupid questions, and work with people who share their experience. These are the best tips that I can give you. Basically, what I'm, why I'm trying to what I'm trying to say here, is, guys, is that uh, it, you're you're never going to be rid of the fear through any other means than just going through what you're going through. That's the that's the long and short of it. But the the good part about all of this is that it's just fear. You're just afraid, and that's okay. Because the fear can't really hurt you. It can put you down, it can make you feel bad, but uh, if you decide to not let it stop you from doing the things that you want, that's all it is. And before you know it, it's going to get easier and easier to deal with that fear. So as I said, remember, be humble, ask stupid questions and learn from people who are willing to share their knowledge with you and before you know it you're going to have a handle on this whole imposter thing I promise you. Have a great day!